day. And welcome to online learning, where you get to drive at your own speed. You've probably already been contacted by your general education teacher, and some of you may have already even started your online learning. Um, I hope your first contact and your lessons have gone well. This is new for all of us, so be patient. We're learning together. Let's have no stress. Deep breaths when we need to. And take a break when we need to. Um, here are a few things that I think might help you as you get started. First of all, decide where you are going to have school. It should be a place with as few distractions as possible. So maybe away from the television and video games. It should be a place where you're comfortable and it should have a surface that's easy for writing. Make a schedule and keep to that schedule so that you do school pretty much the same time every day. <clears throat> it becomes routine for you. Keep your supplies organized, nearby, and together. So your pencils, paper, worksheets if you have them, and your computer should all be stored where you can easily get to them. So that once you start working, you don't have to stop and run here and there to get a pencil or a piece of paper. Uh, what to do if you're having trouble? If there's something that you don't understand or you're having trouble reading or just having trouble doing, first step, go to someone that's near you. So a parent or a sibling that might be able to assist you with the problem. If you still can't figure it out, then you're going to contact your teacher. That could be by email, dojo, uh, calling or setting up a Google Meet during their office hours. Remember, you can always take a break when you need to. Not a long, extended two, three hour break, <laughs> but take a break, get something to drink, take those deep breaths if you need to, and then go back to work. Happy learning.